To be competitive in the information age, being a researcher and problem solver is a requirement. This is the reason why we need empirical research. It is based on observed and measured phenomena and derives knowledge from actual experience rather than the theory or belief. It is the process of posing research problems, gathering observable and measurable information, determining relationships, and writing the paper. Some scholarly journals use a specific layout called the IMRD format to communicate empirical research findings. Such articles typically have four components. Introduction, methodology, results and or findings, and discussion. This video focuses on the introduction of an empirical research. Before you can actually write the introduction, there are research processes that you have to undertake. First, choose a topic. For example, hydropower source. Second, evaluate your own schema about the chosen topic. For example, Hydropower is a renewable source of energy obtained from moving water. Power plants are usually situated in dams and waterfalls. Hydropower is eco-friendly. Considering your schema, you can now write your initial research questions. Make sure that these questions go beyond what you have already known about the topic. For example, is hydropower more efficient than other renewable energies? What impact does hydropower have on electricity generation in the Philippines? What are the effects of constructing hydropower plants? Now that you have evaluated your schema and written your initial research questions, you have to look for credible references that can answer those questions. Once you have sufficient references, it's time to organize those sources by using the three rhetorical moves in writing the introduction. Move 1. Establishing the identity of your research. This is done by discussing topic generalizations of increasing specificity, from provisions of definition of terms to citations of credible sources that discuss current trends and issues regarding your research topic. Remember, in the introduction, research of other people is more important than yours. Elaborate what has been done by other researchers as regards to your topic. You can discuss review of related literature regarding your main topic and subtopics from your initial research questions. For example, Hydropower is widely used in the world because it does not spawn greenhouse gas emissions, which makes it one of the cleanest sources of energy. And because it is a cost-efficient source which can generate electricity consistently with minimal fluctuations. In the Philippines, hydropower energy can prosper since the country is an archipelago. Additionally, the study of by Hayes coincides with the idea that the country has potential in generating hydropower due to its geographical features although the utilization of power varies from each region. Once you have elaborated your research and subtopics, the next step to do is the gap analysis. With this, you will be able to establish a niche. Move 2. Presenting the research gap is done by stating what has not been done and has not been considered yet by decided published researchers. In here, you can present specific variables to be considered that will lead you to finalizing your research questions. The research gap shows what we don't know and what we want to know. For example, based on the aforementioned studies, it could be deduced that dams such as La Mesa Dam could be converted into power plants. However, there is a scarcity of studies that discusses the feasibility of La Mesa Dam as a hydropower source. With a research gap, you will be able to extend previous knowledge by validating a research concept, testing a theory, or applying research methods with new variables. Here are some other transitional phrases to use in presenting the research gap. However, little information, attention, work, data, research. However, few studies, investigation, researches, attempts, of course, not all research paper introductions express move to by indicating an obvious gap. 
You may prefer for various reasons to avoid negative comment altogether. In such cases, a useful alternative to use a contrastive statement. For example, the aforementioned research has tended to focus on rather than on. These studies have emphasized as opposed to. Although considerable research have been devoted to, rather less attention has been paid to. The previous research has concentrated on, most studies have been content to, so far investigations have been confined to. Move 2 is the key move because it connects move 1, what has been done, to move 3, what the present research will do. Move 2 establishes the reason for the study. By the end of move 2, the reader should have a good idea of what is going to come in move 3, which is occupying the gap. Move 3 shows what will be done to fill the gap. This time, you have to connect the research gap to your research questions by announcing the present research descriptively and purposively. For example, in line with this, this study aims to answer the following research questions. What are the perceptions of Filipino structural and electrical engineers on the conversion of La Mesa Dam into a hydropower plant? What are the factors that contribute to La Mesa Dam and its conversion to a hydroelectric power plant? After presenting your research questions, you have to explain how will you answer those questions by elaborating the methodology. Explain the quantitative and qualitative data collection. For example, the participants in this study are 250 Filipino structural engineer and 275 Filipino electrical engineers. They were invited to answer a survey based on the study of TUNA 2013, which has a reliability score of 0.905. The Google form of the survey questionnaire was disseminated through Facebook Messenger and email. The respondents were informed that they could withdraw from answering the survey at any time they prefer. Upon clicking, the submit button indicated the consent of the respondents in using the data they shared. Then you can continue explaining the methods to be used for research questions number two. Remember, the three rhetorical moves in introduction are move one, establish research identity, provide definition of terms, current trends and issues, and review of related literature. Move to establish research gap by stating what has not been done and has not been considered yet by the cited published researches and present specific variables to be considered that will lead to finalizing your research questions. And move three, occupy the research gap. Present research questions or hypothesis with new variables and elaborate the methodologies in answering the research question and testing the hypothesis. Here are the references used in this video. Check the other videos on how to write an empirical research. Gambatene!